Welcome to Service Drive Revolution and your Friday drive by a little something to think about, a little little nugget, little inspiration going into the, the weekend. So I want to talk about how to win any argument. How to win any argument. This is a magic pill here that is going to serve you in work, in your personal life. It, wor it works anywhere. So how you win any argument, let's put that to the side for just one second and let's talk about a, a quote. I think it's David Foster Wallace that said this, the enemy of truth is certainty. Let me say that again. The enemy of truth is certainty, right? So I always find it interesting when I'm in a social setting and people are talking and a topic about politics will come up and I get really interested and I love, I love talking to politics with people. It's like a, it's a guilty pleasure of mine. But somebody will always say, whether you're talking politics or religion most of the time, which I love to talk religion to, somebody will always say, um, you shouldn't talk politics or religion in a social setting. There's always that person, right? And I'm always like, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. And so I've learned to say this thing, right? And let's go back to this quote, the enemy of truth is certainty. What I'll say, and it, it works like magic, is I'll say, um, oh, like, hey, I, I want to talk politics. The, the thing is, the people that don't want to talk politics usually have their mind made up and they can't change their mind. I don't have an opinion and I'm just curious what people think. Right. So it's I'm not certain about anything. And even the things I am certain about, I'm old and wise enough now to know that even those might be wrong. They might be. There's been many times where I'm super certain about something and it ends up that either that point of view isn't relevant anymore or it's it, you know, you could shoot holes in it also. So the the way to win any argument is to not be certain or married to any opinion and ask questions. Be curious about why other people think what what they think. So David Foster Wallace also uh, tells a story about a fish, and he he talks about there's um these two young fish swimming up the stream and they they run into this older fish and. As they're going by, the older fish is like, hey, boys. And, and the fish are like, hey, sir. And the, and the guy goes, how's the water today? And they just keep swimming and they're looking. And then they get past him. And the, and the one fish says, to, the one younger fish says to the other younger fish, he goes, what's water? And that's how people are when it comes to politics or religion is how they were raised or whatever news channel they watch ends up being the jar they're in, but they can't read the label of the jar they're in. And so when you're in water, water just seems like air, right? It just is what it is. And if you're young and nobody's ever taught you about water and you're a fish, you just assume that it's, it's how everything is. You don't understand that it's actually a, a substance that is providing you life. And, and so, I mean, it's so interesting that as I'm recording this, I, I was driving home last night and I get a phone call and somebody's like, oh, did you, did you see what happened with Brianna, Brianna Taylor? And I was like, no, I'm not watching the news. And they're like, oh, well, there's going to be rioting and stuff, you know, and I live in downtown LA. So there's been a lot of rioting and a lot of unrest down here. And what I'm talking about here, I don't, I, I'm not interested in having an opinion about it, but it was interesting when I got home that the news channel that's the predominant predominantly left channel had that all the police were acquitted. And the one that was on the right was one police was indicted. And it's just like the news and everybody's narrative is, is crafted around keeping the attention of the audience they have and being salacious. And you got to understand that the news today for the most part, isn't about journalism. It's about selling advertising and ratings. And so they're more interested in ratings than they are in journalism and the truth. And then the other thing is like, when you really dig into this Breonna Taylor thing is it's a complicated scenario. Like it's complicated. The police were sent there to do something and they were doing their jobs and they were shot at and they shot back. And you could maybe make the case that the warrant maybe should have never been signed, but they, they had 
um, evidence that that um, supported what they were trying to do. And I I find it very interesting that somebody could have a really, really strong opinion about something like that and not know really what's going on. And so in those scenarios, I love to ask people like, well, what about this? What about that? And you find out very quickly that people don't really know what they're talking about and they're not really educated and they don't really care to know the answer. They just want you to agree with their opinion. That's really what it comes down to. And so don't be that person, first of all. And second of all, if you want to win any argument, the enemy of truth is certainty. Don't be certain, be curious. Don't be certain, be curious and ask lots of questions. Be a student of life, of business, of psychology, of the game. Be a student. Don't, don't be locked into anything because as soon as you get locked into something, you're probably wrong. And um, yeah, I, lo I love this topic. I love to talk politics. I love to talk religion because I don't know everything. <laughs> and that's the that's the fun of it. So um, I hope you have a great weekend. Make sure that you watch this preview of what's coming up on the big show Monday. And I'll see you next time on Service Drive Revolution. Next week on Service Drive Revolution. We are going to talk about how to use tire season to steal market share. It's, it's like Armageddon. This is why our customers need to take better care of their cars because if they have to get out of town, you need a car that can make it happen. But you're hooking them in and then you're gonna get the tires, you're gonna get everything else. You like how I let him into that role play? Just, he uh, loved the role play, you dirty dog. You've, you've submitted to parts? No, I have not submitted to parts. I will fight that battle till the end. I ran that by the joke person before I said that. Who's the joke person? Not Jeremy. I will leave the jokes to Christian. Yeah. You don't have an inappropriate joke? Not that it would pass through uh, editing. He's probably a Lions fan or a Green Bay Packers fan. I mean, yeah. Uh, Which yeah, is just, worse? Just both. So you pick your football team for the cheerleaders? No. I'm a writer at a Chrysler dealership for a very large dealer group in Michigan. Quit. Just quit. Just, just stop. <laughs> just. <laughs> I mean, I don't need to hear anything else. Just, just quit now. You're what, ahead. What, what do you think the question is? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't right? matter. Thanks for watching this episode of Service Drive Revolution's Drive By. I hope it gives you something to think about over the weekend and inspires some new ideas and hopefully some new results. If you have any questions for the big show, go ahead and post them below in the comments. We'll be looking out for them and we'll answer them on the show. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified when we post new episodes. I'm Chris Collins and you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Chris Bulldog Collins. And I'll see you again on the next episode.